Welcome back to another vlog. This is gonna be an exciting vlog because I'm heading out right now to get my first microneedling treatment. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. The result is supposed to help a lot with pores, skin texture, and acne scars, which is my main concern right now with my skin. So we're doing microneedling with PRP. I'll explain a little bit of it, but if you guys really wanna follow along the entire process, definitely check me out on TikTok because I'll be doing the whole like results and then kind of just like a little vlog day in the life getting it done for the first time today and i think we have three treatments that we're doing so i'm excited So what that is, is the micro channels went down to that dermal layer, which is where you get really good resurfacing, especially for acne scarring, collagen production. Um, so this is really beautiful end result. What we wanna do is we wanna see that erythema, which is redness, um, and you wanna see it pretty consistently throughout. And then again, the pinpoint bleeding is very random, but you had it pretty well all over. I mean, you have it here too, which is really great, and on the forehead. Um, so that's a good result, they like it. I decided before I stop home, I'm gonna do a return that I have at Lulu. I got a sweatshirt and it just doesn't really fit me well. So I'm gonna go knock out this return, head to the post office, and then we'll head back home. a couple hours post microneedling and I just briefly wanted to give a little update chat about the experience so first off very painless I was expecting it to feel like laser does and it wasn't at all it was just like a bunch of little vibrations on the face not very uncomfortable at all I think the most uncomfortable was immediately post procedure my skin was super red definitely felt a little bit irritated and itchy because it's so incredibly dry it's a new layer of skin being exposed and then it quickly went down. Like I said, this is two hours post-procedure. It's not as red and it doesn't feel irritated or inflamed at all. But for the next 72 hours for post-care, I have a specialized, really, really gentle skincare routine that I'll do. And tonight I need to wash my pillowcases and I'll probably just wash all my bedding in general because that is crucial for bacteria like transferring over into the skin and we don't want that happening. So I'm gonna take care of all of that and then kind of just chill tonight.
my sheets are fresh out of the dryer. I just put on the cleaned new sheets. I also started using a silk pillowcase the other week because I got it in a PR package and I swear this has helped my sleep so much. I don't know what it is, but dang, I love a good silk pillowcase. I just had my coffee, got a little bit of work done this morning, and now I'm gonna stretch and foam roll, which will feel so good. I put on this workout set from Ali Yoga. This is one of the best bras for like yoga, Pilates, honestly just like lounging around. It's so comfortable. So I can link it for you guys, and same with these leggings. I love that. So we're gonna stretch and foam roll, and it'll be amazing. I have a love-hate relationship with foam rolling. I don't do it often but I definitely need to because it is so, so, so good for your muscles. But it definitely hurts so much. Like, it's that pain that hurts so good. You know what I mean? And oh my, God, my body needs it so badly. It's not even funny. Like, oh my gosh, my legs are so sore. The other day I did an Orange Theory workout and it was like strength and power. So... My legs were feeling it. Basically what that means is you're like lifting heavier on the weight floor and then on the treads you're pretty much running like what feels like an all out but on an incline. And so those definitely kill the legs a lot. So I'm just gonna work out the muscles. Every time I do this, I low key feel like a dolphin. <laughs> I'm out and about right now. I'm gonna run a couple of errands. I have to go to the post office to drop off Warby Parker um, trying kit. Um, Trader Joe's just to pick up like a random um, ingredient that I need for dinner that I wanna make this week. And what else? Target, I have a return. Also, I'm like so frustrated because two of my favorite items from Trader Joe's, the high protein veggie burgers and this like cheesy queso dip, they got rid of and that's like two of my literal staples from Trader Joe's. So Trader Joe's is really knocking itself down on my grocery scale for places that I get my groceries, but whatever, it's fine, I guess. Today when I was at Target, I got the best grapes I've ever had in my life. I don't know why these kind of taste like cotton candy grapes for some weird reason, even though they're obviously purple. I don't know why, but oh my God, I could eat these all in a single sitting right now. They're that good. They're the perfect crunch. They're so sweet. Oh my God. I kind of want to go back to Target and get another bag because I will go through these in less than 24 hours. I'm just about to make some dinner for tonight, so I'm gonna do a salad with roasted Brussels sprouts and broccoli in the air fryer, and then for the protein on top, I'm gonna to use these spicy chicken tenders. These are so, so, so good. And in terms of gluten-free chicken tenders, these are the closest thing I personally think to what tastes like a regular chicken tender because it's coated with rice flour and cauliflower instead of like typical breadcrumbs, and they're the bomb. They are a little bit pricier, but I would highly recommend these, especially if you are gluten-free, they're so good. cleaning up the kitchen and everything after dinner and I also packed 
my bag for Orange Theory tomorrow because I coached two classes in the morning. So I reviewed and rewrote the template and then packed up like my computer, my iPad, other things like that because I have a nice big break in between classes. So I usually get like computer work or stuff done like that. But I'm gonna do my skincare and everything and then head to bed and I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get up around six so that I can just do a workout in my apartment gym instead of tomorrow's Orange Theory workout because I was gonna do it before I coach. But honestly, it's gonna be a rough one tomorrow. So I'm like, I don't really feel like doing a strength day on the tread. So I'll probably just do like my own workout in my apartment gym, hopefully before I coach. But if I'm too tired in the morning, we'll just get that. actually getting up and going to the gym got a solid workout in but now I'm heading out to coach my classes obviously and I really gotta go so I'm running tight on time so I'm gonna head out and I'll see you guys back home it has been a day I've like hardly chatted much today but I obviously coached and everything this morning which it went so 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 well definitely was like a really hard template to coach but I had people come up to me after class complimenting my music and the playlist and everything and also just my class in general which really made me feel good it's been hard i feel like getting into coaching because i'm such a perfectionist and there's a lot of trial and error that comes with it so when i had people come up to me after class like that just really made me feel good and was that like boost of motivation i guess that i needed and just like reassurance so that felt really good and that's your reminder if you take your fitness classes to thank your coaches afterwards compliment them if they make you feel good during a certain point in class or if you like came to that class not really wanting to work out but you got through it all and it made your day better like say that to a coach because it seriously does make all the difference and it just made me feel really good so that was it today but now i'm getting ready right now to go head out with my friends. I'm having a few of my girlfriends over tonight. We're having some Margs before we head out. So, Cinco de Mayo today, we're gonna go to like a taco place and get tacos and have some dinner and meet some of our guy friends out as well later. So, I'm looking forward to that, but I'm putting on makeup for the first time in a minute. Cause obviously after my micro needling, I'm not supposed to put makeup on for the next like 48 hours, so. Finally, I can put it on and feel like a human. I'm using this e.l.f. Hydro Grip or Power Grip Primer for the first time. This is supposed to be a dupe to the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, but we shall see. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is why I wanted to use it because after you get microneedling done, your skin is incredibly dry. So my skin needs all of the hydration in the world right now. So I'm gonna put that on and then Use up the last little bit of my It Cosmetics foundation. This is the best stuff ever. It's super, super hot out today, so I don't know what I want to do with my hair. I was planning on straightening it, and I honestly might still do that because I like showered up and washed my hair when I got back home, and I just blew it out with like the Revlon like little blow dryer brush. My hair takes forever to dry, and I never typically dry it using heat, but I'm like, I need to speed up the process a little bit. So I honestly might just straighten it because it's pretty much halfway there. And if it gets frizzy, it gets frizzy, but I put in this like Sol de Janeiro defrizz stuff that actually works so, so, so well on my hair. But I'm gonna finish up my makeup, do my hair, and then figure out the outfit for tonight. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. Probably just jeans and like a tank or something. Really simple, nothing crazy.
I just finished getting ready for the night. I'll give you an outfit of the day before my friends come on over. But I'm just wearing this corset style top from Garage. Denim jeans, Aritzia, belt, Princess Polly. Same with the bag, of course. And then my shoes, I'm probably just gonna wear my classic black little can heels from Princess Polly because they're trusty, they're comfy, and I love them.